Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video and today I will be So this is actually going to be another series and I am actually not sure if I got all of the special tools in Minecraft, but I will try to find I'll try to figure out if there's more but so in this shulker box exists all the special tools in Minecraft that you may have not known about and it's all within the shulker box and they have some really cool properties so today we will begin off with a few simple ones first so and if I am missing something please tell me so here's the list I will let you guys ha take a look so this is the barrier this is structure void this is border this is allow this is deny this is the command block command block minecart structure block and jigsaw block and then we have light block all the way from 1 0 to light level 15 all of them are here and if I'm missing something as I said before please tell me because I don't want to be making like false videos and stuff so hopefully you guys can like help me when I make a mistake so please leave a comment if I'm missing something but let's just start with let's start with these three so I'll destroy this So these three, the barrier, structure, void, and border block. So barriers, so here's a note first. The ones that I just showed you, okay, so so, so hold on, let, let me take it out again. So the, he, here's a note I got to point out. So barrier blocks and structure void blocks, they, and command blocks, and I think, so, okay, so barriers, structure voids, Command blocks. I think command block with minecart, structure block, and jigsaw block. They exist in the most recent, most recent update of M Minecraft in both editions. Which means bedrock and Java. These exist. However, border allow deny and the light block. They do not exist yet. But Light blocks, they exist in the newest snapshot for Java edition. And yeah, by the way, light blocks existed in Bedrock for a very long from when I think education would, was introduced. I'm not really sure. I need to go look at the wiki page again. But yeah, they existed before the snapshot was there. And. Yeah, so I will be showing you guys the features of the, so this is, I think this is going to be three parts series, so, so let's start with the barrier, barriers, and also, by the way, structure void, the icon looks a little different, and the way the hitbox works is also a little different, so yeah, I don't have Java edition yet, I need the money to buy it. I mean, like, I have the money, but, you know, it's called parents, and anyways, so we have the barrier block here, and most of you know what the barrier block is, it is basically an invisible block, where is it, oh, it's here, and it, it exists, and you cannot penetrate it, and it's also so, um, blast proof, no, like, you cannot break it unless you're in uh, creative. TNT doesn't work on it. Withers can't destroy it either. And water react. Um, it can. I don't think it can be waterlogged. Never mind. It can be waterlogged. But if there. Okay. So let me clear the water first. There you go. And that was the structure void block. So, hold on, so, barriers, 
if you place the water down, then you place barrier in the water block, it will become the water log. But if you place it on the sides, you can basically constrict the water. And it is a solid block, which can be waterlogged. So now let's clear it with structure void. Let's destroy these barrier blocks. And barrier blocks are typically used in all locations, like if you're in Java, setting borders. But in, uh, yeah, setting borders and that. And in bedrock, you will use that too, unless you want to use the border block, but we'll get to that a little later. So, yeah, very blocks is pretty simple. And if you're holding it, you can see the block. And if you're not holding the item, you can't see it, but you can see its hitbox by clicking on it. So let's get rid of that. So now we have structure void. And it is basically the same, pretty much the same as barrier blocks. If you're holding the item, you can see it. If you're not, you can't see it. And here's the thing. You... Oh, I broke it. You can't actually see its hitbox without holding the block. And as you can see, you... Yeah, it doesn't have a hitbox. And then it also prevents you from clicking anything below it. And it's a block that you can walk straight through. And I think it can't... Can it be waterlogged? I don't think it could. Yeah, and this block actually cannot be waterlogged, which is pretty interesting because barrier block can be waterlogged. Hmm, interesting. And I think the blast resistance of structure void is actually different. Hold on. We can do a comparison. Okay, let's um let's get some TNT. One on each side, okay. Oh, never mind. They will both survive, okay? Because, hmm, I thought I thought it will break, but okay. Anyways, so I actually need to go check the wiki. I'm not sure of the structure of voids blast resistance. I remember that you can blow it up. But maybe it's you can't really blow up anymore. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's basically a barrier block, but you can walk through it and cannot be waterlogged. And you can actually keep water in here, just like this. And it has this cool effect where you can walk through it. Pretty interesting. Let's clear it now. Personally, the this icon that looks pretty cool. Oh god. There we go. So then we have the border block, and the interesting about the border block is that you can't really tell its properties unless you are your game um your game rules different. So you can see there are particles rising up and down. This is to signify that this area is blocked, and it's actually a fence. It, it has a... What is it called? Stone fence? Walls, yeah. It's, it has a wall texture on it. And it also has a wall um, hitbox, which is actually normal, in, which is just a normal block. So, anyways, so... And the thing is, is that... The properties cannot, you cannot actually see its properties unless we put like a small experiment here. So right now I can walk through it because I have the world builder status. So what if I, rem okay, so what if I stand in here and then I remove my world building permission slash game. Oh, I forgot game. T I don't know what game test is. If you if you know, please um tell me. Uh, slash game rule world builder. No, no, no. 
Diop. Let me just Diop myself. If that works. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. I Diop myself. Nice. So as you can see now, I have. I still have fly permissions. Um, as you can see, I cannot leave this area, and I can't break this. Even though I could break this, I can't. I can't break the border block, and I can't place it either. And even if I try to blow it up, it does blow up the ground below it. But it's uh, like an it's basically like barrier block. However, it limits the people who are not, who does not have world builder status, or is just who does not have operator status. So yeah. And it, it goes both ways. It goes up and down, so that you can't. It's kind of like a jail cell now, but it's only a one column space, and it, it's much easier to keep people in now, since you know we also have barriers. So now you're basically made a jail, and you can actually hide this under dirt, so that people actually cannot see it. So let me re op myself. There we go. It works while it's underground too. Look, if I stand in here again and I remove my operator status, you see I cannot go this way either, even though I'm trying. So, and these are really useful, especially when you're building like a custom map for someone or like for a particular event. This is really useful so that you cannot you can keep people out of places that they shouldn't be in, or you could keep them in in like maybe the spawn area and then don't wander off. And this for structure void, it can be a block that is used for decoration, like keeping water flowing like but with a space in the middle and you can walk straight through it it's a pretty cool block to use for builds and for barriers it's pretty simple you just control people with it I guess and you can also use this for builds and for Java people this is the way to go if you want to make a spawn instead of using a border because border I don't think borders exist in Java so Maybe they will add it in like another 1.17 snapshot or something. Just maybe. And and then yeah, and then you guys saw that the border is also has a very high blast resistance. These are kind of like mod tools or admin tools. And um and for MCI I have a kit for this. It's the exact same kit, but it's called like special mod tools or something. And it has all these things inside. And yeah, these are just pretty cool things to have during your creative world. Uh, when you're building your creative world, and it's just to like add details. Not really details, like just to add like special stuff to your world. Then it's more impressive, I guess. And yeah, I guess this is it for today hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe comment share this video and also yeah note um i will try to upload videos at least once a week and by week i mean sunday is the start of a week that's how i do it so yeah so sundays is the start of the week for me so if i post uh, if i upload one video on Saturday and one video on Sunday, it counts as videos on a span of two weeks. So yeah. And yeah, as so this is pretty much it for this video. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.